In this video, we'll introduce you to the University of Newcastle's Program Planner, a digital tool to help you plan your program of study before enrolling in courses. Here you'll get an overview of the system, why to use the system, and a quick presentation of important terms and functions that will be useful when planning your program. Watch our next video linked below to learn in greater detail how to use this tool to plan your program. But first, you might be wondering, why do I need to plan my program? Before enrolling in your courses, it's a good idea to map out your study journey. By planning which courses you need to take and when to enrol in them, you create a clear path to graduation. Some courses are mandatory, meaning you must complete this course to progress in your program. But as you'll soon discover, there are a number of different course types, so you may have some flexibility in choosing your courses. This depends on what program you're studying. To get an understanding of what courses you're required to complete to be able to graduate, it's a good idea to check your program handbook. You can access your handbook by navigating to www.newcastle.edu.au forward slash degrees and selecting your program's dedicated page. Planning your course in advance means you can be confident you're picking the right courses for your degree and you'll be prepared and ready to go when enrolment opens. Program Planner will save what you have planned too, so you can plan and seek program advice before enrolment opens. Please note Program Planner is not an enrolment tool. To enrol in your courses for each study period, you'll need to go to the MyHub app. You can access Program Planner by navigating to planner.newcastle.edu.au or by selecting the link in the My Uni app. We recommend you use a desktop or laptop to use the Program Planner. You'll be required to log into Program Planner with your University of Newcastle student ID and password through single sign-on. Once logged in, you'll be welcomed with the Program Planner dashboard. This page gives you a quick overview of your current courses and academic progress. At the top of the screen, you have the two most used tabs in Program Planner, the Track Progress tab and the Plan Your Path tab. These are also always visible in the navigation menu to the left as Track Progress and Plan Your Path. You can access this menu anytime. Before planning, it's helpful to see the structure of your program. You can view this by going to Track Progress. You will see all the courses that you've already taken, any courses you still need to complete to graduate, and any program requirements. As you progress through each study term, this will update with your grades. So don't worry if you're a first year and nothing is checked off yet. With a good understanding of your program structure, you can now start planning using the Plan Your Path page. Click this on the menu and navigate to this page. If a recommended pathway exists for your program, it'll show up under Quick Add. A pathway is a guide of the courses and requirements needed to complete your program and the recommended order and timeline in which to take them. Pathways are designed to ensure that you're able to progress through your program smoothly and complete in the standard full-time duration. Watch our next video linked below to learn more about planning your path and picking the right courses. There are a few different types of courses that can be a part of your program, such as core, compulsory, elective, major, minor, and specialization. A core course is a course that all students within a program must successfully complete to meet the requirements of that program. A major is a minimum 80 units completed from a set of related courses that allow students to specialise in a particular field of study within their broader undergraduate degree. Similar to a major, a minor is 40 units completed from a set of related courses to focus your studies within a particular field. A specialisation is a set of related courses completed within a postgraduate degree that allows students to specialise in a particular field of study. A compulsory course is a course within a major, minor or specialisation which must be completed to fulfil the requirements of that major, minor or specialisation. A course list is a set of courses within a program, major, minor or specialisation that students can choose from to meet the required units. 
Electives are courses you can choose outside the core or compulsory and directed courses in your degree. They can be chosen from all courses available at the university, provided you meet any prerequisites the course may have. Prerequisites are conditions you must meet in order to enrol in a course. Refer to the course handbook or program planner to check if there are any prerequisites needed to be met before you can enrol in the course you're planning. Assumed knowledge is also featured in the course handbook and program planner. While not enforced like prerequisites, assumed knowledge means that a course will be taught on the understanding that students already have a certain level of knowledge. It is the student's responsibility to ensure that they meet this level of knowledge. Please note that not all programs include all these types of courses. The system will let you know what categories your program has and how many courses from each category you will need to select. If you're wondering about any other types of courses, visit Ask UON. When you're viewing your courses in the program planner, you might see these icons. Green check marks mean the course has been successfully completed. Yellow check marks mean the course has been included or planned in your current plan. Double yellow check marks mean the course is currently being taken this term. Red boxes mean a required course has yet to be planned or taken. Red boxes with a red number symbolize the number of remaining courses to meet a requirement. Red exclamation marks means that a course has been taken or is planned but is not counting towards a requirement. This might be because you failed or withdrew from the course or because it is counting somewhere else in the plan. Learn more about the different course symbols under self-help menu under the symbols glossary. You're now ready to jump into our next video to learn in more detail how to plan your program.